you know what's sad is I was ripped up. I was hurting so bad. That cat has been, she has meant so much to me. I am so grateful that I had her these last 16 years. I don't know what I would have done had I not had the love of my BB and my slut Sunny. Still got her, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is that cat meant so much to me. Given me comfort and love. When I wasn't getting it, in fact, the complete opposite from the ones I loved. And mistreated and thrown under the bus by people who who I'd cared about and had done nothing to hurt them. But, you know, the story of my life. So, <clears throat> I laugh or cry, I get angry or cry. I was so. She took her last breath with me touching her and my face up against her head talking to her. <laughs> I told her I, I wished I could go with her. Because she's the lucky one. There'll be no more hell. No more feeling hated, being hated. And on my way home, I reminded myself so I could sober up with these tears. Tell myself. <sighs> to fucking dry up the tears. And you can see. I don't mind. I don't mind the two of them seeing that I've been crying, puffy eyes and red. You can see the evidence, evidence of my pain, but not see my pain. Because I knew, I knew that nobody cared. Nobody cared. She was hated by you too. And neither one of you cared. And it really would have been, you know, it would have been better just to, you know, not hear anything at all. Just keep going along, talking about the happy shit you were talking about, or, you know, being all bubbly and shit, and just go along with it. Just keep going. Because, you know, 
come up to me and say, I don't know what else to say, but I'm sorry and thank you. You know, I could definitely hear the thanks. Thank God she's gone. Thank God, yes. I could hear the thanks. He could have gone without saying sorry because, you know, words mean nothing unless you get some feeling along with them. And I, I didn't, you know, when you've lost your, you know, your goldfish, your hamster, your rat, fucking grandpa. When, when you're in pain because you lost someone or something you loved. I doubt very much, even if you were all stiff upper lip and your eyes dried up but puffy and red and just holding your composure back somehow the way that I did just know well big city because you know I care but I mean could you imagine if you know I didn't say anything right off and just you know bounced along having a, you know not a care in the world and keep going keep going along after you've come in and, and then you know come up to you and say I don't know what to say except I'm sorry except I'm sorry and then just you know don't give you a fucking hug just fucking walk away and I mean that was like That was a slap in the, fa in the face. You know, it hurt bad enough. It hurt bad enough to fucking... It hurt bad enough. I could have gone without you fucking... saying... those three fucking phrases. I don't know what to say. Well, you know, I, I could have gone without that. I don't know what to say, except I'm sorry and thank you. I mean, fuck. I gotta say, you know, it don't surprise me. She is a lucky one. She isn't suffering anymore. She's not suffering. I'm gonna miss her. So the last 16 years. He's been a constant, loving comfort. She's loved me. And I have felt she loved me for nearly all 16 of those years. <sighs> Things changed when I got her neutered, or got her fixed, and she started to like men. <laughs> Before that, we had a bit of a love-hate relationship, and she defied me and got squirted a lot. And always 
always been there. Always loved me. <laughs> but I didn't have anybody else. She went through hell with me. Through that stupid vegan. Through Steven. Shaving my hair and fucking running to California. was the hardest thing that hurt so bad. <laughs> See, the thing I do, <clears throat> the thing I do is, I don't care. I don't care about fucking Brendan. I ain't expecting no fucking love from him. But I didn't want to go in there like this. And have you act the same way, nonchalant, fucking, you know, not a care in the world, and then come up to me in this fucking condition and say what you said, how you said it. So I knew I wasn't going to fucking set myself up for that. Fucking go in there and, and feeling like this. I would have fucking hugged you. I would have fucking held you and told you I'm sorry. And you would have done exactly what you fucking did when I came in collected. And that fucking hurts. You have no idea how much that hurts. No fucking idea. Bitch.